Okay, fine. I'll make a video about it. I guess you've earned a video at this point, Demon. Demon Windu is somebody who often tries to uh, engage me in, in back and forth, but he's not usually doing it in a way that's particularly interesting. This, guy, this time he does okay, I guess. Uh, the first part, the whole point not asking, letting you ask any more questions by violence, though. Dude versus dude, I'm burning you with my arguments. You can't take it, so that's when you resort to violence. I can't see in what utopic surreal circumstances are possible to go. You think you're a badass? Answer my question, bitch. Well, I mean, it's possible in almost every circumstance. Uh, I don't encounter a lot of violence or people who are threatening violence. Occasionally I might. I give an example in a uh, video I mean you have to watch the raw channel I guess um, you know I mean you're at a disadvantage here because on the one hand I'd say well you're making arguments but you haven't actually accessed all the data as available or even a, a reasonable minor amount of it so there's all this raw video of us talking about this topic and uh, whatever that's fine. Um, I mean, is this person being a badass on in an intellectual way, being evil and sarcastic and shit? Then he will answer your question anyway. What's with the war cry? If he can't, then he is the one who is mentally dominated. Case closed. This person being physically badass, though, then what question are you going to ask the person? Well, see, that's a tactical decision. I guess that's why this adversarial thing is more of an emotional issue for you than a tactical one. Managing an adversary is a business that requires... A certain amount of sophistication and it requires one to adjust on the fly read adjust read adjust it's it requires an ability to be as well as say In uh, this third paragraph, you explain that you dislike a circumstance where somebody wins one point and you've won most of the points and he wins that one point and he, he uses that to effectively change the understanding of the outcome so that people will not perceive him as having won the argument. Well, that just means you're doing certain things badly. You're doing framework badly. You're, you're not spiking shit out well enough. And, and or maybe his one impact is larger than your 99 combined. It's possible. Okay, fourth paragraph. But there's also another way to look at it. I know I'm superior to everyone else, right? You don't know that. You don't believe that. It's just a waste of time to mentally dominate every single monkey on the planet. Okay. I mean, you know, I usually don't engage you. But why not? I got nothing better to do. Um, just kick some of them in the face, you know, like fight with the ones that are really worth a mental fight and just beat the crap out of, like, obviously demoted ones. So, yeah, what do you want to say to that? You eliminate dipshit with violence? No, I'm opposed to violence. I think it's a really good strategy. We want quality opponents, don't we? That's just a fucking pointless snark. Um, I say to you, my first response to this was, you keep wanting to engage me in an adversarial fashion, but... The, the implied next sentences, which I didn't bother to write out, were, but you need to do a more effective job of displaying to me that you're worth the time and energy. Just straw manning me and, you know, filling in your own stories where I left things unspecified, that's not gonna... I mean, it's not interesting enough to, to normally evoke much of a response. I found your response to my comments more interesting this one told you once advocating devil mode always on you said you were a meta rationalist so why read so much emotion in the things i write i thought this was revelatory at first i was confused i was like well what do you think wanting is an emotion you <laughs> know like wanting to engage me in an adversarial fashion he said no i want to engage a lot of people the magic feely word there is adversarial though really really come on try harder well I know I'm not going to try harder. <laughs> Adversarial is not an emotional state. It's a position relative to me. 
Like right now, you're my adversarial. You're, you're my adversary, so I'm schooling you. You know, that's what I do. When people insist on positioning themselves as my adversary, that's when I am likely to become adversarial. And then the emotion goes out of it entirely. If, if I were to engage with you emotionally, that would mean I was you know, being vulnerable with you or something. But since you've clearly positioned yourself as an adversary, then I'm entirely detached from the matter. I'll dispatch with you as I dispatch with all comers. Good night.